Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. Uh, yeah, I had to come in for one video this week. I couldn't stay away. Went to the local auction this morning, picked up a few things back here. Voice is still a little off and throat's a little scratchy. Uh, today's actually the first day that I felt a little bit better in like the last two weeks. It's slowly been getting worse. Uh, I've actually cut carbonated beverages out of my diet for the last 48 hours. Seems to be helping some. We'll see if it makes any difference over the long run. You'll, I'll update you next week to see how I'm feeling. But yeah, thanks to all of you that uh, left comments. Uh, I really do appreciate that. So uh, let's go ahead and flip it around and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, here it is. Everything that I picked up today at the local auction. I am spending $50 and some change. Uh, not for the bows back there. That's just been in my car for a while. For some tools and these couple things up here, I'm going to go over them real quickly here. First up, I got two of these Troy built jump starts. I bought one of these at the auction about three or four weeks ago. Sold quickly on Amazon. I was the only one that had them. And if I'm correct, I sold it for a hundred bucks. So I'll throw up my listing of what I sold it for or what I listed it for. And uh, yeah, I paid 10 bucks a piece for those. I bought this box of tools mainly for this Hitachi drill only because it had the charger and the battery pack and it worked. I paid $6 for this box. It has all this other stuff in there. I don't know if there's anything worth anything. If not, everything else just gets redonated. I bought another tool item. I normally don't buy tool stuff, but today I did nothing on that side. Pick it up over here and there's a couple Black & Decker tools. A couple of these little VersaPak tools, no batteries, but we have brand new. You can see it's never been used, and I assume that's never been used as well. So those I only paid five bucks for. Don't know really what they're worth, but for five bucks, that can't be uh, too bad. Plus, you got this little case. Two more things. I bought this set of Lego. I say set now. I don't know if it's complete. Uh, it is Harry Potter. I did see a Harry Potter minifig in there. Maybe that's Ron Weasley. I'm not sure. But there's some stuff in there. I paid $6 for this. We'll take it all apart. We'll find the instructions online. My wife will build it. And we'll see how close it is. For 6 bucks, still a pretty good buy. And the last thing is this box of toys. And the main reason I bought this is because there's a ton of these Shopkin figures down here. And I always combo these with a display case or just make little random bags. There's a bunch of other little toys in here. I don't know what that guy is or what that is. Princess of some sort. But yeah, bought that little box. That was five bucks. Now, this is one thing that has happened to me a couple times at the auction before. You see here, it says cooler for three dollars. I actually left that there and forgot it. I've done that a few times. Uh, I could go back and get it, but for three bucks, I'm really not worried. It's not worth the gas these days to go back and get that. So uh, here's everything I got. So those two things should uh, make me some pretty good money and this other stuff as well. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.